Hi guys, we're here at The Wynn in Las Vegas. Today I'm going to be showing you what a panoramic room with a strip view looks like. Let's take a look. Before you walk in, you do have the little bell for privacy. If I t tap the bell, it's gonna tell me it's not gonna ring. But let's go inside. Alexa, lights on. There we go, all the lights are on for us, thanks to you know who. As you come in on your left hand side, you do have an adjoining door if in case um, you have a connecting room with someone, you have that option. Here's your little map telling you where we are on the floor. We are right here. The elevators are here for us and for the tower suites are right there. They didn't have any available when I tried to get one today. You have your buttons here in case you don't want to use the tablet or Alexa. I'm going to leave the privacy light on for privacy. Oh, wait. There, privacy's back on. <laughs> okay, let's take you in the bathroom next, which is the next room in the tour. As you come in, you do have on your right hand side a shower with a whimsical shower head, nothing. Spectacular. Um, you do have a standard knob. Your conditioner, shampoo, body wash. Good size. I think they're bigger than travel size though. So you can't take them home with you. You have a seat in the shower if you choose to sit. You do have the night light button. If you turn on the night light, it's those lights under the sink. As you pass the shower, you have a towel on the wall to dry yourself off when you get out. You do have a soaking tub. It's not a jet tub, just for soaking. You do have a bar of soap. And with all, most of the products here, they are also noted in Chinese lettering. I guess it's a very Asian uh, gaming property here. Here's a painting on the wall. I'm not really sure what it's about. Not sure what it's supposed to be, but it looks like it's hand painted and it's very nice. I like it. You do have one bathroom mirror on the his side of the sink or hers. Maybe this is the hers because it's got, I don't know, there's a scale down there and I don't like it. Why would I want a scale when I go to Las Vegas? I'm gonna eat like a pig and gain some weight. Do have a little bath mat here and another bath mat. In the center here, you have a trash bucket. On the first shelf, you have a Conair cord keeper hair dryer. The second shelf is empty. The third shelf has a shower cap, a shoe buff, a shoe polish, body lotion, cotton swabs, necessities such as cotton balls, um, nail filer, and pads for your face, I think. You have a bucket of tissues if you need them. <laughs> hmm, I'm sorry about doing that on the video. Uh, but um, you have towels your hand convenience. You do have the other sink, which is the her side. It's got towels under the sink. It's got a makeup mirror with USB A ports. I have not seen any USB C ports in this bathroom or in this room in general. So that's not a good thing. Even the Caesar, the Flamingo room that I had the premium yesterday, which is why I didn't do a tour of it because it smelled like weed in the first room that I was going to do the tour. So I had to switch rooms. So that's why there's no tour at the Flamingo on YouTube. Here's the toilet, extra roll of paper, your light fixture, regular roll of toilet paper. The only thing I don't like, the toilet's too high. It's higher than a handicapped toilet, and we have one of those at home. It's too high. Um, you have a robe, two of them if you want to use them. I might use one later. Now keep in mind, you can probably take the rooms, robes out of the room, but you're going to pay an arm and a leg. Just buy them downstairs, they're gonna be cheaper. Okay, and with each door in the bathroom, you have a little lock for privacy if you choose to use it. Now let me take you into the rest of the room. As you come on the left here, you have an almost full body mirror. Definitely good enough to check yourself out before you go on the strip, if you choose to do so. Cause I'm gonna go out for a walk in a little bit and see what I can find when I'm done with this. On your right, you have a closet 
It has extra linens for your bed, your wonderful dream bed. You have a wall safe. You have the laundry prices, laundry bags. And the prices, some things are as high as $23 for a suit to be dry cleaned. Summer is cheap as 12. You do have coat hangers, the puffy ones that are fancy, the regular wooden ones, your iron, ironing board, and a luggage rack and a little storage below. I don't know what you would store in here, maybe shoes, but I have nothing to store in there. And then an extra linen bag, I think it's a pillow and a blanket. It's kind of like the blanket they have on the Murphy beds at Disney, if that makes sense. Now you have into the bedroom portion. I have to say, when you walk from this hallway, it's a louder, like it echoes when you go into the bedroom with a carpet, it doesn't echo as much. You do have a little storage chest here. To store stuff in if you want to. My clothes that I decided to put in there. I never do that. The bottom drawer is empty. So there's nothing special to see. You do have three paintings on the wall, each with a slightly different color theme. And I like them. I think it's a nice touch to the room, along with all the wood accents. On this table, you have my iPad, not included with the room. You do have the little quick start guide for the Amazon product over there that opens the uh, shades and stuff. Here's some of the, how to do it. I apologize that my socks are in here. <laughs> oh. Okay, and you have a table, two chairs that you can eat on, plenty of room to eat food for two, maybe three, if you have a child. Over here you do have some plugs, two three-plong plugs, two USB A's, your phone, one of two, the other one's by the bed, little notepad, and your Amazon you-know-what device. If I say her name, it's going to go off. So we're not going to say it right now. I said at the beginning of the video. You do have a chair set, two chairs facing each other, do swivel, and an armrest, and a lawn table, which I like. I have something similar to that at home, so, which is pretty nice. Here's another mirror that's full body, almost, so you can check yourself out again and do a selfie facing the strip, which I'll show you in a few minutes. Next, I wanna show you the TV that's in the room and the artwork above, beautiful. This is a 55 inch Samsung TV. You know, Caesars has an LG bias, right? Because they have a Samsung bias. Below the TV, you do have your snacks here. You have a charging kit. You have gummy butterflies. You have a revive kit. So the charge kit is for your phone. The revive kit has pain relievers and stuff just to help you rest and relax. But the bed itself does that job quite nicely. If you go into here, let me show you what you have in here. Look at this. You have a mini bar. You've got Patron, you've got shots. Everything is expensive, so don't buy anything. It's probably $10 minimum for anything in that case. Over here, you do have your temperature controls. Now, one trick, if you wanna get this lower than 65, hold the display off auto at the same time, then press that button upwards. You'll see the words L-E-N. Once that's in LEN mode, you can adjust it higher or lower than the default max and minimums. Hope that helps. You also over here have the cups, ice bucket. I love the wine glasses. I love them. You do have a painting on the wall, which is kind of abstract and pretty interesting. I like it. Over here as well, you have a drawer. There's nothing in this drawer. It's got a three prong plug and USB-A ports. There are no C ports in this room, as far as I can tell. So anyone that has a, a C charger, eh, bring your plug. 
You've got two lights on each side of the bed. You have the ultra comfortable wind dream bed. This thing is very plush. It's not firm, in my opinion. My mattress at home is a medium, but it feels firm. This is plush. So, if you want something firm, get a BRS 900 medium C, and you'll love it. Here's the other phone I was talking about. Another three prong plug, three prong plug, where my phone is, cable is plugged into, two USB-A ports, the tablet in case you wanna control things without walking to the buttons or using Alexa. This is just telling you that if you don't want your linens changed, if you want fresh linens, let them know, otherwise they reuse yours while you're here. I sweat a lot in bed, so they sometimes have to change mine when I ask. But I flipped out when I saw this in here. I have not seen that in a hotel room in ages. I was so stoked. It's nice to see a Bible. And there's a little express checkout receipt if you choose not to uh, wait. If you don't want to, you just want to get out quick, which is kind of nice. And that bed, oh my God, it's comfortable. You will love it. Now, let me show you the view before we wrap up the video. Oh, let me show you this as well. Here's some wall buttons to control the things. So I'm gonna open the shears this way. And here she is. A view of the strip. Now I'm gonna have the lights turned off so you can see this better. Alexa, lights off. Alexa, night light on. And here's your view of the strip. So this room is awesome because you have Two for one, you have a view of that beautiful waterfall show. I think that's every hour here at the Winnie. You don't have to go downstairs to look at it. Although it's probably more impressive in person. And if you look out in the distance, because I was watching them at eight o'clock, you have the volcano show that you can watch for free from here. Um, other things you get out of this view, you do have a high roller view, palazzo view, view of the Mirage, the Treasure Island, the um, Rio, that's an all suite, but avoid it at all costs. You have Daddy's house on the right. Too bad he's not there tonight. I'd love to meet him in person. <laughs> You've got an airplane flying in and a gorgeous view of the Strip and the Fashion Show Mall, which uh, if you're a Capital One customer, there's a Capital One in that mall. Just thought you'd want to know, a cafe. You've never checked one out. And there you have it, folks. This is our view and the room tour of the Wynn Panoramic Room at the Wynn. Take care, everybody.